Okay, let's have a look at this question uh, where we are reading from the graph. And the first bit of notation, which we've all already come across algebraically, we're now going to show how we do this graphically. Okay. Now, when we have f of 2 um, and the 2 is replacing the x, that means we're going to go to 2 on the x-axis. So let's have a look at over, our, over here at our graph. There's 2 on the x-axis. Okay, so let's get a little bit closer. So there's 2 on the x-axis, and that's exactly where we're going to go. And then you're going to draw a vertical line to meet the curve. Okay, so when I draw a vertical line up to meet the curve, that's where I touch it there. And as soon as you get the curve, you're going to read off the y. And so we're getting the value 3. So that's my first answer. 3. And now we're going to look at find the values for which f of x is equal to minus 2. Now, when the function is equal to minus 2, remember that can be rewritten as y is equal to minus 2, then we go to minus 2 this time on the y-axis. So let's do that. There's minus 2 on the y-axis. Now this time we're going to draw a horizontal line and stop when you meet the curve. So there, I made it twice this time. I made it here and I made it here. So since we're going to the y, we're going to read off the x. And just as before, when you went to the x, you read off the y. If you go to the y, you read off the x. So there and there. So what values have I got there? I have, that's right slap in the middle between three and four. So that would be 3.5. And here, right in the middle between minus 1 uh, and 2 is minus 1.5. So, they're my answers. Okay, take a look at this question. So, this time we are asked to find f of minus 2. So, again, the minus 2 is replacing the x. So, go to minus 2 on the x. And we have here. And we draw a vertical line to meet the graph. And if you go to the X, you're reading off the Y. So let's read off where that is on the Y. And I can see it's there at three. OK, and then in this question, find the values for which F of X is equal to two. So given that F of X is equal to two, another way we can write that is Y is equal to two. And therefore, we're going to go to Y is equal to two. So Y axis at two. So there's my y-axis, the vertical, of course, and there's two. And this time, we will draw a horizontal line. And wherever it meets the graph, and it meets it in two places, we're going to read off the x. So here and here. OK, what values are that? So that's between minus 1 and 2. There's halfway between minus 1 and 2. So it's kind of halfway between minus 1.5 and minus 2. Uh, so we could say then that that would be minus 1.75. Now, again, when you're reading from graphs, don't worry. You're, you're never really going to have it totally, totally accurate. And there will be leniency in the exam if you're out by, you know, a, a, a decimal or so. As long as you have, do you see the way I have the working outlines on my graph? And my method is correct. Then you are then making obviously an estimation. Again, I'd say that's 1.5, roughly between halfway between 1.5 and 2. So I would say uh, 1.75 is my other solution there and there. OK, take a look at this question. You are asked to find the roots uh, of this function. In other words, where f of x is equal to zero. Now watch out for that terminology. The roots 
in other words, where f of x is equal to zero, in other words, where y is equal to zero, is here, zero on the y, which is there. And remember, when we go to the y, we draw a horizontal line, and that's the horizontal line there, which is actually the x-axis. So the roots is asking you where is that curve cutting the x-axis? And it's cutting it here and here. Do you see that? So approximately what are those values there? Where the y is equal to zero. There is the line y equals zero. Uh, in other words, the roots where it cuts the x-axis, the solutions of the quadratic, basically. Um, and I would say it is minus 1.5 or between minus 1 and 2 there. And we'll say approximately 3.5 there. There, they are the roots where f of x is equal to 0. <clears throat> now let's try this question. It asks for the minimum value. So the minimum value is basically the lowest value on your curve and the very lowest one is right down here the lowest point so go to that point and read off the y because you want to see how low is it and it's the vertical line that tells you how high or how low yeah so here minus six is the minimum value okay Now, just watch out. Sometimes they ask for the minimum value or sometimes they ask for the minimum point. Now, if they ask for the point, they want the actual coordinate point of that point right there. So that coordinate point is along one down six. That point is one minus six. So if they ask for the value, they just want the y value. But if they ask for the point, it's very subtle, the difference. They want the coordinate point, the x coordinate and the y coordinate. So there we go. There's the minimum point. OK, let's take a look at this question. So first thing we're being asked is find f of 1. So again, 1 is replacing the x. So you're going to go to 1 on the x axis which is there. And when you go to the x-axis, you always draw a vertical line to meet the graph. And as soon as you touch it, since we went to the x, we'll be reading off the y. So there we go. That answer is minus 6. Next question, find values of x for which f of x is equal to 6. Now remember, f of x is equal to 6. Another way of writing that is y is equal to 6, which means we're going to go to the y axis at 6 and since we're going to the y we're drawing a horizontal line at 6 and wherever that meets the curve and it's meeting in two places you're going to read off the x if you go to the y axis you read off the x and we're getting two values here we're getting minus 2 and we're getting 5 there's the values of x for which f of x is equal to 6. This time we want to find the values of x for which f of x is equal to 0, or it can be asked to find the roots of the graph. Now, so if f of x is equal to 0, again, that can be written out as y is equal to 0. y is equal to 0 is at 0 on the y. The horizontal line that is here at 0 on the y is, of course, the x-axis. And so the roots are basically where the graph cuts the x axis. And that is, of course, minus one and four. Next question, find the minimum value and the minimum point. So the minimum value is the lowest value, the lowest point on the graph would be right down here, okay? If I want the value, I'm going to read across and see how low that is going. So you're looking at the y-axis because that's your vertical scale. How low is that point? Oh, I'd say then approximately uh, minus 6.5 is 
is your minimum value. And then the minimum point is the coordinate point, that point there, which is along at one and a half. And down then minus 6.5. So the minimum point is 1.5 minus 6.5. Okay, so now we're going to look at finding the equation of the axis of symmetry. Now, your axis of symmetry is basically we are looking for a line that would act like a mirror line on the graph where one side would be a reflection of the other. So right down here in the middle would be the line that I'm looking for. There's my axis of symmetry line. And given that that is a vertical line here at 1.5, that is the line where X is equal to 1.5. And that is therefore the equation of that vertical line. Okay, and last question, find the range of values of X for which F of X is less than zero. In other words, where f of x is negative. Now, that of course, another way of writing that is when the y is less than zero, where the y values of the points would all be less than zero. That's basically asking me where on the curve are you going to get the y value zero? Now, if we have a little look up here, right, take that point there. That point there is minus two, six. The y value is six. OK, so that obviously isn't included in the range of values where the y is negative. And even take that point there. The y value is nearly three. So that's not uh, going to be negative either. But now take down here, that point there would be minus 0 0.5 on the X, but minus 2 on the Y. So we can see the graph is negative, or the, the outputs, the Y values are all negative, all down here to here. So what are the X values that give me that? Well, the X values that give me this part of the curve are going to be this middle part on the x-axis. For example, zero, the corresponding coordinate point with zero is minus four. So it's this point here, zero, gives a negative answer. One is also giving a negative answer. 1.5 is giving the lowest point on the graph. That's definitely negative. Uh, 2 is also giving negative and so on. All these values between minus 1 and 4 give these lower parts of the graph. So that is when x is greater than minus 1. And when x is less than 4. And that can also be written as uh, greater than minus one, but less than four. There are the range of values for X in between minus one and four, for which give the Y values below zero, below the X axis, less than zero. Okay, let's take a look at this question. So here we are asked for uh, F of two. So the two is replacing the X, which means we're going to two on the x-axis and we're going to draw a vertical line to meet the graph. And since we went to the x-axis, we're going to read off the y. So we're getting three as our answer there. Next question, values of x for which f of x is equal to one. Remember, that's the same as y is equal to one. So we're going to one on the y-axis and this time we'll draw a horizontal line to meet the graph and it's meeting it in two places. So we're going to need to read off the x-axis since we went to the y. 
and there's the two places on the x-axis. Uh, roughly, I would say that's 1.4. Again, you, it will be lenient in the exam as long as you've got your working outlines that you're reading um, a, you know, a decent approximation. If you're slightly out, they will give it to you. Here, that would be, again, minus 1.4. All right, not quite the minus 1.5, which would be here, and the 1.5 would be here. So we'll say minus 1.4 and 1.4. And now f of x is equal to zero, the roots of the graph. Remember, the roots of the graph is, of course, where y is equal to zero, y is zero here, and the horizontal line is here. The y equals zero is the x-axis. We're looking where does that graph cut the x-axis, and it's cutting it at minus one and one. The minimum value, the lowest value on the curve uh, is right down here. The lowest point, the vertical line gives us the scaling of the highest points and the lowest points. It is, of course, minus one is the lowest value. That as a coordinate point, watch out how subtle that is, uh, that as a point is zero on the x, and minus one on the y. Next question, the equation of the axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry is where our mirror line would be, where we'd get one side a reflection of the other, slap bang in the middle of it there, so it's symmetrical, would be actually this line here, which of course is the y-axis. The y-axis is that vertical line at x equals zero. So x equals zero, which of course is the y-axis. That is my uh, line of symmetry. X equals zero is the equation of that line. That last question, find the range of values of x for which f of x is greater than zero. In other words, where f of x is positive. That of course is where the y values are greater than zero. And the y values greater than zero are all above here, there's all your y values greater than zero. The part, the graph that are above that x-axis then greater than zero are here and here. And the range of values of x that's going to give you those is, and the range of values of x that are going to give you those are these values of x here and these values of x here. OK, because if you are in between these two points, for example, zero is in between those two points, that coordinate point zero there is going to give a, a value of minus one. That's not positive. We want the y values to be positive. So, for example, if I take minus two, which is beyond the minus one and beyond the one, minus two gives a value of three, which, of course, is positive. So it is these x values that are smaller than minus one, going that way is smaller than minus one, and going that way is greater than one. So smaller than minus one, and greater than one. That can be written as uh, smaller than minus one, but greater than one can also be written like this.